गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ द लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑन रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट ओके इन लास्ट इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट एट ए स्पेरिकल सरफेस एंड फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर डेरिवेशन वी हैव फाइंड द इक्वेशन दैट होल्ड्स फॉर एनी कर्ड स्पेरिकल सरफेस ओके दैट इज एन टू अपॉन एन वन माइनस एन वन अपॉन एन टू अपॉन वी माइनस एन वन अपॉन यू इक्वल्स टू एन टू माइनस एन वन अपॉन आर ओके सो आवर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज लेंस ओके हियर वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू द लेंस वॉट इज द लेंस एक्चुअली एक्चुअली इट इज़ अ ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडियम विच इज़ बाउंडेड बाई टू सरफेसिस ओके टू टू स्फेरिकल सरफेस विच आर स्फेरिकल इन शेप ओके सो बोथ द सरफेसिस और वन ऑफ द सरफेसिस आर स्फेरिकल ओके सो लेंस इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडियम बाउंडेड बाय टू सरफेसिस ऑफ विच वन और बोथ सरफेसिस आर स्फेरिकल ओके so there are two types of uh, lenses first one is the convex lens also called called the converging lens okay so what is the convex lens lens which is thicker at the center and thinner at its end is called the convex lens okay you can see the figure there are three types of uh, convex lens first one is the double convex second one is the plano convex and third one is the conveco convex lens okay double convex lens both the uh, surfaces are spherical plano convex lens first uh, one surface is plane and another one is spherical okay and con conveco convex lens one surface is concave concave and another surface is convex okay so the combination of convex and concave surface is called the conveco convex lens okay <coughs> okay uh, the second one is concave lens also called the diverging lens a lens which is thin at the center and thicker at its ends is called the concave lens okay you can see in the figure thin at the center and thicker at the ends okay these are also uh, of uh, three types double concave plano concave and convexo concave okay in double concave both the spherical surfaces are uh, concave surfaces okay in plano convex one surface is plane and another surface is uh, concave surface and in convexo concave one surface is convex surface and another surface is concave surface okay so these are the types of lenses okay another topic is the converging and diverging action of lenses okay so what is converging and what is diverging okay so as you as you uh, you can see in the figure uh, first one is uh, your convex lens and another one is your concave lens okay as convex lens converges all the light rays okay convex lens converges all the right light rays coming parallel to its principal axis at a point okay so here you can see this will be your principal axis passing through the optical center this will be your optical center of this lens okay passing through the optical center this will be your uh, principal axis okay so the ray which are coming or incident parallel to the principal axis okay it converges at a point at a single point it converges at a single point okay it is also called converging lens concave uh, where is concave lens concave lens diverges okay concave lens diverges all the light rays which are coming parallel 
all the light rays which are coming parallel to the principal axis okay that's why it is called the diverging lens okay so converging all the light rays coming parallel to principal axis at a point and in diverging action all the light rays which are coming parallel to the principal axis <coughs> okay diverges all light rays parallel to the principal axis okay that's why it is called convex lens and it is called concave lens okay the converging and diverging action of lens can be explained by considering a lens made up of a large number of dis different small prisms okay uh, and in convex lens the base of prism is uh, towards the principal axis and in concave lens the base of prism is away from the principal axis okay so keep in mind just for your knowledge okay okay next one is the some important definition which are related to the uh, lenses okay so here we have uh, convex as well as concave lens this is the the ray which is uh, passing the imaginary line which is passing through the optical center okay is called your principal axis this will be your principal axis this is your optical center okay this uh, this will be your separation because it is the combination of two spherical surfaces those this is the uh, surface of contact okay and this will be your uh, optical center okay so what is the optical center optical center is a point lying <coughs> on the principal axis of the lens okay optical center is a point which lying on the principal axis of the lens okay <coughs> and directed to which incident ray passes without any deviation in the path okay optical center is a point which is lying on the principal axis of the lens directed to which incident rays pass without any deviation in the path okay you can see in the figure the ray which is passes through the optical center without any deviation okay so the ray which is passes uh, through the uh, through the optical center there is no deviation in this particular ray of light okay next one is the center of curvature the centers uh, the centers of the two imaginary spheres of which the lens is a part okay uh, base, uh, we can say that lens is a combination of two spherical surfaces okay so there are two center of curvatures okay there are two center of curvature okay so the center of curvature of two imaginary spheres of which the lens is a part okay are called the center of curvatures of the lens okay as lens has two uh, centers of curvature with respect to its two curved surface okay there are uh, two optical centers okay oh sorry uh, there are two center of curvatures not optical center okay okay next one is the principal focus what is the principal focus so the lenses has uh, basically two principal foci first one is called first principal focus and another one is called second principal focus what is the first principal focus it is a point on the principal axis of the lens the rays is starting from this point in convex lens of rays directed to this point in directed to this point in concave lens become parallel to the principal axis after refraction okay you can see in the figure first one is your uh, convex lens and another one is your concave lens okay 
so what is the uh, first principal focus the first principal focus is a point on the principal axis okay this will be your principal axis this will be your principal axis point on the principal axis of lens the rays is starting from this point the rays which are starting from this point okay the rays which are starting from this point becomes parallel becomes parallel to the principal axis after refraction okay in case of convex lens okay and in case of convex lens and rays directed to this point and rays directed to this point become parallel to the principal axis after refraction okay in case of concave lens okay so you can see this the rays which are from this point okay okay next one is the second principal focus it is the point on principal axis at which the rays coming parallel to the principal axis converge in case of convex lens or passing through it appear to diverge in case of concave lens at this point after refraction from the lens okay so both the foci of convex lens are real while that of concave lenses are virtual okay again you can see the figure first one is for uh, convex lens another one is for concave lens okay so the ray which are incident parallel to the lens converge at a single point after refraction okay so this is your uh, uh, point on principal axis called the second focus okay second principal focus and in case of convex lens the ray which are parallel to incident parallel to the uh, um, surface of uh, ref uh, refracting surface of the concave lens so it diverges after the refraction okay but if i extend these lines behind okay so it appears to come from a particular point on the principal axis this particular point is called the second focus of the concave lens okay i think it is clear to you <coughs> another one is the aperture what is the aperture uh, we have already discussed in the in case of mirror okay the effective diameter of the circular outline of a spherical lens is called the aperture okay okay next one is the image formation in lenses when the um, ray is parallel to the principal axis in both the cases this one is for uh, your uh, convex lens and another one is for concave lens the ray which are incident parallel to the principal axis passing through the focus always passing through the focus uh, second second principal focus okay this will be your second principal focus okay so uh, or you can say passing through the focus after the refraction through the lens in case of convex lens and in case of concave lens the ray which are coming parallel to the principal axis okay it is appears to comes from this particular point okay this will be your image the ray which are parallel to the principal axis after refraction will pass through the principal focus in case of convex lens and will appear to be coming from the principal focus in case of concave lens clear okay uh, second one is when the ray is passing through the focus okay in both the cases you can see the ray 
which is passing through the focus after refraction becomes parallel to the principal axis okay in case of convex lens and the ray directed to the focus will emerge parallel to the principal axis in case of your concave lens okay okay next one when the ray is passing through the optical center the ray which is passing through the optical center the ray which is passing through the optical center or ray directed to the optical center will emerge out undeviated okay there is no deviation in this particular ray which is passing through the optical center in case of both the lenses convex as well as concave lens okay so these are the uh, uh, rules uh, you can say for the image formation through the lens okay okay students now come to our very important topic related to lens that is thin lens formula okay it is a relation between the focal length of lens and distances of object and image from the optical center of lens what is thin lens formula it is a relation between focal length of a lens and distances of object and image from optical center of the lens okay let's consider see the figure o be your optical center f be the uh, principal focus f be the principal focus of a convex lens here we have considered one convex lens uh, convex lens of focal length okay focal length of equals to f okay <coughs> focal length of of equals to small f ab is your object held perpendicular to the principal axis you can see here okay principal axis of the lens at a distance beyond focal length of the lens okay beyond the focal length this here there will be another focus okay that is called f2 second principal focus you can say okay so ab is an object held perpendicular to the principal axis of the lens at a distance beyond focal length of the lens okay so what happened the ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the lens passing through the first principal focus and the ray which is passing through the optical center is emerged out undeviated okay both the rays are meet at this particular point so we get uh, we get a real inverted and magnified image okay a dash b dash of the object a b okay so this is the description of your figure i hope you understand it very well okay see the triangles a dash b dash o and a b o okay this will be your a dash b dash o and this will be your a b o okay both are similar triangles this one and this one both are the similar triangles so by the basic proportionality theorem a dash b dash upon a b equals to o b dash upon o b okay a dash b dash upon a b equals to o b dash upon o b okay okay again a dash b dash f triangle a dash b dash f and d o f are similar triangles okay okay you can see in the figure a dash b dash f this one this one is your a dash b dash f and another one is d o f this is your d o f okay so another one is this okay so according to the basic proportionality theorem a dash b dash upon od is equals to f b dash divided by of okay
ओके सो दिस विल बी योर रेशियो अकॉर्डिंग टू द बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम बट ओ डी इज नथिंग बट इट इज इक्वल्स टू ए बी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल्स टू ए बी ए बी इज योर ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू ओ डी सो अवर दिस प्रपोर्शन और रेशियो बिकम्स ए डैश बी डैश अपॉन ए बी इक्वल्स टू एफ बी डैश अपॉन एफ दिस विल बी योर इक्वेशन नंबर सेकेंड फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड टू ओके द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ बोथ द इक्वेशन आर सेम ओके दिस विल बी योर दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर सेकेंड एंड दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर फर्स्ट सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड टू वी गेट ओ बी डैश अपॉन ओ बी इक्वल्स टू एफ बी डैश अपॉन ओ एफ ओके सो वॉट इज एफ बी डैश दिस इज योर एफ बी डैश ओके ऑल द डिस्टेंसेस आर टेकन फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर सो वी कैन राइट दिस एफ बी डैश इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट ओ बी डैश माइनस ओ एफ वी कैन राइट क्लियर सो अवर इक्वेशन बिकम्स ओ बी डैश अपॉन ओ बी इक्वल्स टू ओ बी डैश माइनस ओ एफ अपॉन ओ एफ वॉट इज ओ बी ओ बी इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज माइनस यू ओके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द लेंस एट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द लेंस ओके ओ बी डैश इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ एन इमेज राइट हैंड साइड दैट इज पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्स ऑफ एक्स ओके एंड ओ एफ इज योर फोकल लेंथ दैट इज पॉजिटिव प्लस एफ ओके यू कैन सी ऑल्सो इन दिस विल बी योर ओ बी डिस्टेंस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओ बी डैश डिस्टेंस ऑफ एन इमेज ओ एफ दैट इज योर फोकल लेंथ ओके नाउ पुट दिस वैल्यूज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन सो वी गेट v upon minus u equals to v minus f upon f okay or after cross multiply this vf equals to minus uv plus uf or you can write uv equals to uf minus vf dividing this equation number 3 both side by uvf so uv upon uvf equals to uf upon uvf minus vf upon uvf so this u uh, u u v and u v will cancel out so we get 1 upon f this u u f f will cancel out so we get 1 upon v and this v v f f cancel out and we get 1 upon u so this is our thin lens formula 1 upon f equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u this is called the thin lens formula a very important formula from the exam point of view okay i hope uh, you understand uh, this particular uh, derivation okay for any queries you can ask ask in the comment box thank you so much